In this video, we're going to be factoring a quadratic trinomial when a is not 1, when a does not equal 1. So right here, a does not equal 1. We're going to use about the same method um, that we used in the last video, but we're going to do some extra steps in there. And this method is called the slide and divide method. The first thing we're going to do, and you can see in this example, I have a quadratic trinomial when a is not 1. So a is 3 in this example. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply a times c. 3 times 4 is 12. And I'm going to do the same, the same thing that I did in the last video. I'm going to find two numbers that have a product of 12 and a sum of 8. So what are those two numbers? 6 and 2. And I'm going to write it out just like that x plus 6 times x plus 2. Pretty easy, but we're not done. And a lot of my students, whenever we get to this point, when we factor a quadratic trinomial when a is not 1, they leave it like this, okay? And it you cannot leave it like this. The number that you multiplied into the last term, the a value, you have to divide that out of the last term of each binomial factor. But what I want to do is I want to simplify this, okay, each of these. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 divided by 3, I can't simplify it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, um, that denominator and I'm going to put it back into the first term in that binomial, okay, where it goes, into the first term of that binomial. Now, 6 divided by 3 is 2. If you want to look, look at it this way, 2 over 1 1x, it's just x, right? So I like to just cancel it out like that and write x plus 2 times 3x plus 2. So let's look at some more um, examples that are like this. An example number 7, remember, because this is just a continuation of the last video, I'm going to multiply a times c. So 2 times 3 is 6. I need two numbers that have a product of 6 and a sum of 7. What are those two numbers? 6 and 1. So I'm going to write out my factors, x plus 6 times x plus 1. This looks very similar to the last video. But the number that I multiplied into the last term, right, slide, I slid it into the last term. Now I'm going to divide it out of the last term. And what do I get? I'm going to change colors here. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 1 divided by 2, I can't simplify it, so I'm going to slide that back into the first term of that binomial. So my factors become x plus 3 times 2x plus 1. And you can always check your work by multiplying these two binomials together. Let's move on to example number 8. In example number 8, I'm going to multiply 3 times 20, and I get 60. And if you want, you can always write x squared minus 19x plus 60. But I need two numbers that multiply to 60 that have a sum of negative 19. What are those two numbers? Negative 15 times negative 4. Negative 15 times negative 4 is positive 60. Negative 15 plus negative 4 is negative 19. So x minus 15 times x minus 4, and I'm not done. The number that I multiplied in to those last term, or to that last term, is the same number that I, that I divide out of the last term of each binomial. I multiplied it in, right, slide it in, then I'm going to divide it out, and really I should slide it back into the first term. So 15 divided by 3 is 5, so x minus 5 is one factor. 4 divided by 3, I can't simplify that as a fraction anymore, so I'm going to slide it back into the first term, which is becomes 3x minus 4. Let's move on to example number 9. In example number 9, I have a quadratic trinomial when a is not 1. So to use this slide and divide method, I'm going to multiply 8 times negative 3, and I get negative 24. I don't know where I wrote my x like that. Let's erase it. That's going to bother me if it's written like that. So x times 3 is negative 24 and then positive 2. I'm looking for two numbers that have a product of negative 24 and a sum of positive 2. What are those two numbers? Positive 6 and negative 4. So let's write out the factors. 
x plus 6 times x minus 4. But I'm not done. The number that I multiplied into the last term, right, slide it into the last term, I need to divide it out of the last term. And in this case, we can't evenly divide um, these fractions right here, if you will. So what I'm going to do is simplify them like they're fractions. So 6 divided by 8, I can divide out a 2 from each term, and I get 3 over 4. So this binomial factor becomes 4x plus 3. 4 divided by 8, I can simplify as 1 over 2. Slide it back into the first term, and I get 2x minus 1. Those are my binomial factors. Let's move on to example number 10. In example number 10, what do you always want to look for when you're factoring? First, you want to look for a GCF. I see that all of these coefficients are even, which means I can absolutely factor out a 2. And when I do that, I get 2 times 15x squared plus x minus 2. And now we can factor out this, we can factor this quadratic trinomial when a is not 1. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply 15 times negative 2, and I get negative 30. In the middle, my b term is positive 1. So I need two numbers that multiply together to give me negative 30 and have a sum of positive 1. What are those two numbers? Positive 6 and negative 5. So x plus 6 times x minus 5. But I'm not done. This was a quadratic trinomial when a is not 1. So the number that I multiplied in to the last term is the number that I'm going to divide out of the last term. And now let's simplify these um, fractions, if you will. So 6 over 15, I can simplify, I can divide by 3, and I get 2 over 5, and I'm going to slide that back into the first term, and I get 5x plus 2. In my second binomial, I can simplify this fraction as 1 over 3, slide that 3 back into the first term, and I get 3x minus 1. In this particular example, do not forget your GCF, okay? So we factored out that GCF. It goes in my final answer after I've factored this polynomial completely. So this was the slide and divide method. If you want to look at the next method, um, which is the grouping method, or I like to call it the umbrella method, go to the next video.